Bonne arrivée, um, bonjour, bonsoir, bonne nuit, je m'appelle Emmanuel Redou, um, j'habite à Ghana du Ghana. Um. Yeah, yeah, merci, merci, what? <laughs> <laughs> Monsieur <laughs> Nafte, she can't understand anything, right? Je m'appelle, je m'appelle Gestina and je dois, je dois gagner. Je dois what? <laughs> Guys, it's, it's really not easy to speak French. I tell you. All right, it's but really today we are going straight to Africa. Today we went to the street to um learn how Ghanaians. Uh, I mean, what Ghanaians think about Ivorians? You know, Ivory Coast is just four hours yeah. away from where we are now, okay? We can literally drive to Ivory Coast and you will get there in the next four hours. Like driving from here to Accra okay. is pretty much the same. But it surprises me how Ghanaians do not know much about Ivory Coast. Like, they really also surprise yes. me. Yes. 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 Most yes. Most of them, um, they they were saying that um, they have no idea about mm. Ivory Coast or Ivorians. They don't know. But what do you know about Ivory Coast? Mm. Well, I know they are. Um, and what I know about um, Ivory Coast is they are western part of um, Africa and. They are more closer to Ghana than Nigerians. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Why did you say Nigeria? You are not talking about Nigeria. So why all of a sudden? Oh, Nigeria I, I'm just telling you. I'm just it's, telling. Like, it's like Nigeria is living head rent free in your head. <laughs> oh, I'm just telling oh, you. I found what some I know. Nigeria somewhere. Oh, no, 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 no. Anyway, so today we are talking about what Ghanaians think about Avorians. And just like you said, she said, Avi is pretty much very closer to Ghana. But it really marvels me or surprises me how Ghanaians know much about Nigeria than even the African coast and, uh, and Togo all right so today we when she went to the street to um, conduct some one or two interview to I mean sort to people view so what do you get there or do you want them to watch the recording? yes back? watch okay. the opinions that people have about Ivorians and Ivory Coast as a country all right so guys watch you back hello darling how are you hello, doing I'm fine so I'm good um what brought you here oh it's a Friday. Okay, so and I kind of run away from work because I have some things to do personally. All right. And I like coming to the seaside because it kind of gives me peace and I flow anytime I'm working. So. Okay, okay, that's cool. So, baby, um, what do you think about Ivory Coast as a country? Oh, how I, do you see them? Oh, Ivory Coast as a country. I know they share border with Ghana. Okay. So as a close border. All right. And as a country, I think they are more into agriculture. And they are doing so well in that aspect. Oh. And I see the citizens there to be um, very cool people. They are very funny and friendly as well. Okay. Hello, Daddy. How are you doing? I'm fine. What's your name? My name is Charles Dogbe. All right. <laughs> My name is Eva Love. I'm very fine. Yeah, okay. I'm being private. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mommy. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. What's your name? My name is Maud. Maud. Okay. Yes. Mommy Maud, what do you think about Ivorians? <laughs> I worries. I don't know anything about them, so I can't say anything about them. Interesting. So, Daddy, <laughs> what do you think about Ivory Coast as a country? Um, you see, I had to, I had to pause a while uh, before giving an answer. Why? Because um, I think I know Ivory Coast is to the to the to the west of Ghana. Um, and it, it borders, uh, our, our border town is Elubu, and then we have Axim right at the corner there. And I know that uh, we have Cape Three Points, no, 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 Cape Three Points is a bit far, okay. Um, but I know that they had, they had a very long term president. You grew older uh, by name uh, Ofwe Bwanyi. Their capital is Abidjan. And I know that in, 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 in English, in our term, we, we call them Ivory Coast. But when you go to, in, in their French parlance, they say Côte d'Ivoire. <laughs> we don't understand why they have, they have one, one country, but they have two names. We have Ghana and it's Ghana. And then their capital is uh, Abidjan. They have a biggest, another, another city called Yamusukro. I know it's a very, I, I hear it's a very beautiful place. Yeah. A very nice place, but I've never had a chance to visit the place. I've never had any opportunity. I don't think 
uh, well, if I get the opportunity, I will want to visit the place. I had a, they, they have a good infrastructure road network. Oh, they are cool. They are cool. One thing I know about them is they know how to dance. That's the one thing I like about Ivorians. And they are very friendly too. Like, they know how to welcome a fellow black oh. into the account yeah all right all right so do you have an ivorian friend oh i was once dating an ivorian lady interesting yeah. I was dating so one. how was the relationship oh it was cool but you know like <laughs> nobody can tell what will happen tomorrow so, so are you still in the relationship with her <laughs> on the ever can it so how do you see Ivory Coast as a country? Yeah, it's very cool. Like, I want to go there one day, like spend some weeks over there. Okay, so how do you see Ivory Coast as a country? How do you see the country? A <laughs> Well, um, it's a very nice place, though I've not been there before. Okay. But uh, some pictures and videos, and mostly, you see, I'm staying at a roadside so like okay. people have been passing by okay. sometimes you just get down buy things like most especially the anklet chale i like the way they put on the anklet and styles like yeah exactly i, I mm. love the way you are real hey say what's up you're real are you real there ja? okay so how do you see the ivorians i mean the people oh though i'm having some in my family okay. they are cool okay. and for them they are straight yeah, they are straight. They are cool. They are straightforward. Yeah, they are straightforward. If it's and yes, then, it's yes. Yes, if it is yes, it is yes. And they also, they don't like beating around the bushes. Okay. Yeah. Like they are cool and they also value their culture. Okay. Yeah. Ivor, do you know Ivorians are closer to us? Um, yes, when I watch the map, I can see they are close to us, but... You know nothing. Nothing. What's their language? What they do? I don't know. But do you know they about speak them. French? I think so. I think I heard they speak French, but I'm not really bothered to find out if it's really, really their native language. This is really interesting. You know, this is really interesting. <laughs> That's okay, and Daddy, what do you think about Ivorians? Ivorians, yes, I know because we share border with them. Uh, they are also they are, they are they have a language called Ani, and I hear it's a bit um, closer to what what we speak here in Ahanta. You know, there's a mixture, and then some of their culture, like they also wear kente, like what we do here. Uh, oh, like me, I love them. Yeah, I love them because we are sisters right. from Ghana to Africa. Is it four or five hours? Yeah, okay. I love them. They should come. They should come to Ghana. Yeah, they are always welcome to come back. <laughs> oh, that's a nice message from a beautiful lady here telling the Ivorians they should come to Ghana. They should come so that she'll be able to speak the French for us. Thank you so much, darling. You're welcome. Well, how do you see them? Okay, the people that say that they are good. They are good. I, I didn't meet some before, mom. Yeah. But I didn't meet some before in my life. But my friends say that they are good. Yeah. When you go to your country, they will see you welcome you nice. Okay, so how do you see the country? The Abukos country? Yeah. Well, I think that they are nice, but they are nice country. They are nice Ghana. country. Okay. Right. Do you know that they are... Wow, interesting. Yeah, very, very interesting. We had a very wonderful and exciting um, conversation with people out there. They really share their opinions mm. on about Ivorians and Ivory Coast as a country. And this woman was like... The one in the green? Yes, the green. She doesn't even know that um, Ivory Coast is closer to Ghana. Yeah. And she doesn't know anything about Ivorians so Ivory Coast as a country. And, and pretty much she was, uh, from the video that I just watched, was she, at the point she was ashamed. Like, like yes, seriously, yes, I can't yes, imagine yes, because yes. like four hours away yes, from yes. where I live and I don't know anything or I've not been there. And she said that she would run the one to then. Yes. I was so much amazed with the man, right? That fair man. I think he how much has fair idea about people. I mean, the Ivorians and the, he really got into deep. Yes, there are certain yes, things that he said, I myself, I do. 
<laughs> I don't know. He's really good. He's really good. Yeah, because personally, uh, myself, okay. Um, you know, at a point, there were a lot of Ghanaians in Africa. Coast. Do you know that? Yeah. At the point, yeah. yeah. Because the economy was, I mean, was doing way much better than Ghana. And the Ghanaians, a lot of Ghanaians moved there. So in my area, there were a couple of Ghanaians who have been in Abidjan. They had family there, so they speak French. Abidjan, they call it Abidjan French. Yeah. And all that. So, and I realized that there are, um, sometimes some French guys come along, right? So I realized that, I mean, Abidjan, 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 people, they believe, they, be, they, they think at a point they even thought they, they were, they had a black, at a point they even thought they had a black French. Yeah. All right. So uh, they thought they had a black, rather black French because they were, they were, they were really assimilated by these French people. Like Ghana, Ghana were like Pan Africans, Africans, but it seems like the Africans really wanted to be French. But do you know that um, people only know that the um, Ivorians speak only French, but they have. I think they have 78 um, languages that they speak and I think five are popular if I can remember some they say the Baule, the Dan, the Sinari and all that. Yeah, yeah. And, also, and also um, and also I learned if that's true for if one if from Ivory Coast you can correct me if I'm wrong I learned that um, they, they have the, the, the I mean the biggest ethnic group there is Akka. Yeah. Like Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like Literally, Avarians are Ghanaians or Ghanaians are Avarians. Like, yeah, it's just a border separation and mm. some, um, I mean, colonial mm. language influence that has really, I mean, some, uh, I don't know how to call it, separated us, but pretty much they are the exactly. same. And I was yeah. so much like amazed about um, how the way they dress, like um, what I heard about the way they dress, they dress like Ghanaians, Kente, they have chief, they yeah, install chiefs like they Ghanaians, they, some people speak Chi, like Ghana, like, you know, like the same people. All right. Some of them speak Chi, but we Ghanaians, we, we don't know how to speak French. Yeah. Like him. Uh, come on, like um, French is not my, my, English is not even my mother, mother tongue alone. Like I personally prefer to but speak. But you learned French in JHS. I learned French in JHS, but who really speak French in our homes? <laughs> All right, so let's speak French. Uncle? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Ghanaian, like we, just like she said, we speak French, like we are taught French in school because yeah. with the assumption that we are surrounded by yeah. French uh, speaking neighbors, because uh, uh, Togo French, Burkina Faso French, uh, Ivory Coast French, and um, Benin French, yes, if not Benin, we don't bother Benin. Um, other country that I don't remember that we also bother, they speak French, so we are surrounded by uh, francophones, right? So it makes sense that we should we learn French now. School. So in Ghana, from basic school um, to I think the SS level, French is composed, we have to study French. In school. Exactly. But we don't do anything with it, we, yeah. we don't we just take it serious, I guess. It and we write exams to get it off our back, then we are done. <laughs> yeah, during, during my time, French, you know, I what don't... did you get in French? I, I don't even remember. I think C ah, or D. you almost got F. <laughs> <laughs> you no, nearly my, got no, F. No, listen, my time where I was, to be fair, I was really bad in French. So oh, when the question I was, can see. yes, when, when they brought the question paper, I was like, if, to tell you the truth, say, I'm being frank here. I mixed the French with English and Chi. So. <laughs> <laughs> So, no, like you mix English, word, French, I tell you, and you see, the French in every exam is in French. Eh? They have you, you have to write a composition, something like yes. that. Yeah. So the words, the French words, were not coming. So I just have to use my own English and to write my composition. Oh, that's all. I think you do all. <laughs> yeah. But you know, um, we are very close. I mean, yeah. and I, I could see that the feedback that we got, uh, Ghanaians have fair. I mean very good impression about yes. Aborians, right? Um, I would say probably most of them ha haven't been in contact with Abor uh, those in Aborians. Yeah, there's Ghanaian one church. guy in the um, e video that he said he has been in a relationship with an Ivorian. Yeah. Yeah. That How is. many Ghanaians have been in a relationship with Aborians? But I can tell a lot of Ghanaians have been in a relationship with Nigerians. Exactly. Because there are more Nigerians in Ghana than Aborians, all right? So I think this, that for me, like the lady was saying, she was quite surprised. One lady was saying she was quite surprised that, 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 that but I didn't find it, or I didn't see it to be very surprising because mm. uh, Ghana and um, the closest country that shares linguistic or I mean language connection or or history or I mean 
even with their colonial mm. heritage, it's um, those in Nigeria. So it makes sense that Ghanaians will lean more towards the Nigerians and Nigerians will lean more words. towards Ghanaian than any of Africa country, any of the African countries. Let me ask you so, this. What is the capital of um, the Ivy Coast. It's The man said Abidjan. It used to be Abidjan, but yes, like some guys tell get me. confused about this because some some people will say Yamusukrom, others yes. will say Abidjan. No, because Yamusukrom was then their capital. Mm -hmm. Then they moved it to Yamusukrom. Yamusukrom is even in Ghana, Komi city. So it's that the name sounds like a, it's like a tree of. You know, people miss. I mean, it's confused with I, I stand to be correct, but what I know is Yamusukrom. Before it was Abidjan, then they moved to Yamsukrom and I learned that the Abidjan now is the um, economic capital of the country and uh -huh. Yamsukrom is a political capital I don't know how that works yeah. but um not because it's a beautiful place you know um, they have a very good infrastructure there I tell you, know, you I've not I've been, not been there, there but before. we see that always. yes all right, on like, magazines um, on TVs and all that like, they are very their infrastructures are very nice they and call beautiful. it the capital Abidjan the exactly. Paris of Africa exactly. you know I have a friend who came to Ghana um he's a Ghanaian but he has stayed all his life in Ivory Coast so okay, he came here all. yes he came here last two years yeah and he was like Ivory Coast is a nice country mm. they have what is less expensive there is food yes they I have, have I a have so. lot of food in Ivory Coast but the accents are really expensive I think those living in the Azim area are pretty much lucky because um I heard that they, they move to the Avorians move to Ghana as if there's no border and the Ghanaians move to Africa as if there's no border those yeah. are, and that in Zima area mm. all right and I think we have one lady said that she thinks Avorians should come to Ghana and visit all right yes. and I think that connection should be there like um and another man also raised the point that um those kind of barriers in Africa should be eliminated what do you have to say oh yeah it's I don't true. understand why if I'm going to Africa coast I have to prove beyond doubt with some kind of Qatar, they call it or ID card to verify my. Now, well, they, they are saying that wherever you have to go, you have to show your Ghana card. So I think. So you think the border would now be loosened so that we in Africa, I mean those of us in Ghana, can move freely to Togo without some cumbersome, somehow yeah. corrupted barrier bar bar check or whatever. <laughs> I didn't say anything anyway so um yeah but i think it's a good thing i yeah. think we africans should re i mean we should reintegrate or we should integrate all right where once i mean like before we were one we are still one um all these berlin constructed barriers and borders around us should be eliminated first of all we should try to eliminate eliminate them from our minds mm. that's the reason, reason why we are even doing such videos yeah, yeah. to i mean um let people know that we are more connected so if you are boring i don't know let me know what you think about those of us in ghana all right um let, let me know what you think about her in the first place and what you think about me all right then you come like with we also talk about what you think about them very soon know, um, moving around i because are the largest um cocoa producers yeah, in the, world. the largest cocoa. and cashew nuts as well oh you yes. produce cashew nuts yes, too all right yes. And yeah, Ghana is after Abricos in terms of cocoa. Yeah. All right. Abricos we, 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 is leading. It's leading. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Comfortable. That shows that we have deeper connections. All right. And I read something about Ivory Coast. Um, they think they have the largest church in the world. And what? A ch yes. Church. Yes, the church. The church can contain eighteen thousand people, and the amount that cost them building that church was. 300 million US dollars. What is this? This is, true? This is crazy, you know. It, you guys, you can check it on. Um, what's this way? I read it, I listened that on YouTube, someone's channel. On. So I think I have to verify it. If you have already, let me, let me know. No, yes. I'm just checking. The yes, that is. It's in Africa, every coast. Every coast. Not in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. I was really surprised. Three hundred million US dollars to build that church. Come on, that doesn't surprise me because Ghana is people. similar amount to build the National Cathedral. So. <laughs> she made me say it. I didn't <laughs> blame her. Big right. ups to I, 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 my boys. In fact, you're doing well. The church, and if you see the church, yeah, you can see it's bigger than what here. Think, one of these days, we should drive to Abu Coast and back. Sure. What do you think? I would love to I mean go tall there, 
to get more because we I love. What what language are you going to speak when you get there? She messed with French and English. Exactly, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm going to do there because I can't I can't kill myself. I can't speak the French. But I you know? also so I'm like, also going to teach them the tree and and the English. You know, then also I will learn some. French as well. But do you yeah. think that Khan population in Africa speak free like we do or fancy or speak the Khan language like we do here? I don't think so. Even though some of them speak the um chi and all that, but I don't think they are better than us, no. Or it sounds similar like ours or mm, we can't like tell. That. If you have let me know what you think. Yeah. So guys, all too soon we've um should I say we've come to the end of this session um sadly but please subscribe and as we we are planning to move around a little bit i mean go to Aricos, togo nigeria to i mean explore the to also know what you guys think about us but but first of all we want to know what you think about us through the comment section just click subscribe like and share this video and let's know what you think about we the Ghanaians and I will be happy to also go around to let you know what Ghanaians think about your country your country should be next nice. thanks for watching and um it's a bye. It's a bye. See you. See you. <laughs>